All right. So a uh, nice, uh, quick, short update uh, on the Heron sequel, Heron Bird sequel. Um, so we uh, disassembled the drone's uh, gimbal this morning. Um, and the dampener board and everything inside is perfect. Uh, there's no internal damage. The internal core boards, everything else is fine. Um, so the impact that it had with the ground did not translate into this particular piece, which is exceptionally good news. Um, also means that the internal boards in here are also good. The vision sensors, everything else uh, that were in here did not take any impact. So we're just looking at lower legs and antennas at the moment. Um, and obviously the repairs to the body and the motors. We have all three of the LED lenses, so we're good in, to go there. We just have to replace the LED for this side um, that'll have to be resoldered. Um, and Ken says he has legs and the doors, so uh, I'm just waiting to... Uh, I'll get those from him and then get a new body on order. But the magic for today... And this was the best news, I shared this with Ken already, is that the flex cable is not broken. Um, there is no damage to the flex cable uh, at all from the camera all the way up to where it plugs into the drone. So all of the damage is to this gimbal motor right here, which, you know, that's, I think, a $30, $40 motor. So I'm going to get one of those on order and we'll replace the gimbal motor and reassemble this. I will not power it up until, of course, I have the motors and everything fixed because I'll, I'll mess up the ESCs. Um, so the gimbal, uh, shy of the scratches and stuff on the bottom, looks like we may have dodged a bullet. Obviously, this is subjective. You know, we won't know that for a fact until we put power to it. But I have some confidence. Ken has some confidence. Um, and the simple fact that that, that cable is not damaged, I just, yeah, that's the great news. Um, because snaking those cables is, is not fun. Uh, and because of the fact that you end up readjusting the tension on the loop here and stuff like that. Uh, and if you don't do it just right, then the gimbal tends to click, which the previous Phantom, uh, it clicks. I, I did it as good a job as I could, but she clicks. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna wrap this thing up uh, in some nice soft protective material to keep it safe and set it out of the way because this is the last thing that we're gonna focus on uh, and everything is going to be working on getting this back into a good, clean frame. Once we have this in a good, clean frame, uh, then we will do some basic flight tests, power-ups, etc., to make sure that the motors and everything else are good. Um, because, obviously, because of the impact and everything else, we don't know as... Uh, I Am Wedge was so fond of uh, telling me we don't know what kind of damage is there until we start putting power to it. We learned that lesson the hard way with the Mavic Pro because we thought everything was fine on it until we put power to it and then got that wonderful burning smell. So uh, needless to say, that's the status. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, got all the screws and everything uh, saved and put back in place so that I don't lose them. Uh, so I'm not going to need like a screw kit or anything for this. There's nothing missing. Uh, this time, uh, Ken was able to retrieve all the parts. Whereas, you know, in uh, of course, in the first one, this bar here and the back plane were obliterated. They were completely gone on the first drone. So uh, lucked out a little bit. This repair is going to be, uh, I think, a bit easier, honestly. Um, so more to follow as we uh, progress, and I hope you guys have an absolutely fabulous weekend. Uh, obviously, see most of you guys tonight on TNL. Take care.